What's up everyone? Tamakaze here with a Netflix earning preview video. Wanted to go over a little bit of data here and kind of give you some insight of where I think it's going to happen on earnings. So uh, let's just go through the data real quick. Uh, expected EPS $3.15, expect revenue around $8 billion. Uh, implied move according to options we're looking at about a 21 percent move so quite a large move uh 40 dollars up 40 dollars down in that direction is the implied move last move as you can see was ginormous uh 35 percent drop in the stock with it continuing to drop over the next month uh, last 10 earnings in terms of eps and revenue five beats five misses and it just seems to go down every single time. So I have a feeling we might get a surprise here, but uh, word on the street is overwhelmingly bearish. So these ranges are going to be large as uh, this is going to be pretty much the future of Netflix on this earnings. They are changing a bunch of things. Uh, we're going to dive into what they are changing, how they are focusing on bringing growth back. And that's going to be a big focus in their guidance. So, uh, I do have some ranges here. I'm going to zoom in here. We're going to go through these questions here. I have some questions that I think are going to be the focus on the guidance. So estimates on the street is they're about to lose 2 million subscribers. Um, and that's an average between analysts. Now I've seen some analysts say that, you know, they're going to lose 4 million. Some say, nah, it's not going to be that bad 1.5 million, but uh, about 2 million is the consensus across most. And I think that sounds about right. You know, I've done some internal polling um, through my followers and it seems uh, there is a net loss on that. So um, I, I think it's going to be around two, maybe even three in that range. I think it's going to be on the upside of two, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm not focused on that as much. I think that's going to be an instant shock and could drive the, the the initial reaction down but as people digest the information and gets the earnings call we could see a red to green earnings um but we'll, we'll go into this so uh a lot of estimates are they're going to guide subscriber growth for the third quarter and that's going to be fueled by their ad tier as well as allowing subscription changes and password changes and i think that's going to be fueled by they're going to count password sharing as an extra subscriber. So I think they're going to inflate their numbers that way. So right now in Latin America, they're testing where for like $3 extra a month, you can add another login where they can change, they can add another the email, they get their sub login. So let's say your mom wanted to share an account with you. You could add another login for three bucks and they're going to count that as another subscriber, which is technically it's just like a higher tier, but uh, they're going to boost their numbers that way. Why wouldn't they? And so I do think, think they will see success on that. Now I'm looking at estimates here on the ad tier that they partnered with Microsoft on. Uh, they think that's going to bring another 500 million in revenue is also going to boost uh, subscribers that way. What we're going to be looking for in the call is going to be timelines on that and what they think those numbers are going to be. Of course, their numbers are probably going to be a little higher than initial estimates. Um, but I want to say that's a good plan by them. We're going to get some more details, I imagine, tonight. And so I think it's going to be about the Latin America numbers and the subscriber sharing, as well as the ad tier tonight. And then as long as subscriber numbers aren't absolutely atrocious, um, we could see a push from that. Now, while the I have the fourth, the last question here, will they address uh, the quality of content uh, the bringing out so i think that's one of those things where a lot of people are leaving because they're just pumping out garbage as much as possible and they're not necessarily putting a bunch of quality out there you know the difference it shows from like stranger things and then you see like the resident evil show which has basically nothing to do with resident evil it's just hot garbage but they're pumping this stuff out you know that's what pisses people off and they're like why am i paying for this garbage when i can go to like hbo uh, and get higher quality at a higher rate. You know, they may not have as many shows, but I don't care. I want to watch stuff I enjoy. I just want to watch stuff just to watch stuff. So for me, uh, the numbers I'm looking at down here, I have some ranges down here. So I think a miss, higher loss, lower guidance, we're absolutely going to get that sub 165. I don't see 
anyway, it doesn't. And I think that 134 is on the table. So I'm looking at down in this red range for uh, a miss. Now, a beat or in line could put us kind of in this white to green zone. Now, we are in this blue downtrend box right here. So if it's in line, we might see, you know, maybe a 208 to... 190 to 208 range and that's going to that's going to burn all premiums on options and if they are which i'm leaning towards gonna give good guidance and have a good plan i think we could see that 228 breaks so we would gap up above this downtrend and possibly run to 248 before reversing back down to 207 and retesting the downtrend possibly even 200 like because i'd i I, this sets up for a breakaway gap, right? But like I said, overwhelming sentiment on the street is super bearish. And so I'm taking an opposite on this and I could be wrong. I don't have the best feel for tech earnings in the past, but this is one that if I were to play, I'm not going to play it, but if I were to play, um, that's what I would be looking at is maybe some spreads outside of the money in that white to green zone, you know, take your spread in this zone and then vice versa, take your spread in this zone if you're going to go short. So again, these will be the key questions. And so these are the numbers we're looking for. Hopefully this helps give you some insight on where we could move and you can adjust your, your plan accordingly. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. If you think we're going to go up or think we're going to down. If you like this content and want to see more earnings videos, let me know by uh, giving me a thumbs up and, and hit that subscribe button. All right, thanks. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.